Got some breaking news for everybody. You might have already heard. Um, Twitter has permanently banned the accounts of right-wing conspiracy theorist and radio host Alex Jones and InfoWars for violating the company's abusive behavior policies, the company has said on Thursday. Twitter released a statement because, of course, this was a big to-do. There was a lot of pressure on Twitter from various other social media sites and from media outlets to ban Alex Jones from Twitter, a huge mob of people clamoring for censorship. Uh, So Twitter safety produced this tweet that says, Today we permanently suspended real Alex Jones and Infowars from Twitter and Periscope. We took this action based on new reports of tweets and videos posted yesterday that violate our abusive behavior policy, in addition to the account's past violations. As we continue to increase transparency around our rules and enforcement actions, we want to be open about this action. Uh, Given the broad interest in the case, we do not typically comment on enforcement actions we take against individual accounts for their privacy. Well, you can't really claim to be transparent when you won't even tell us why these accounts were banned other than a vague, they posted some shit that was against the rules. Why don't you show us, if you really want to be transparent, Twitter, why don't you show us exactly what was posted and exactly what rules it violated and why you've chosen to take this enforcement measure. Because right now, it seems more like Twitter was looking for an excuse to cave in to pressure from Facebook, pressure from YouTube, pressure from the mainstream media, uh, and very suspicious timing since just yesterday, Alex Jones was uh, going before Congress, got in a confrontation with uh, Marco Rubio, got into a confrontation with some CNN news anchors, and then, bam, the next day, hey, turns out he violated Twitter's policies after all. Very suspicious and interesting timing not to turn into a conspiracy theorist myself. Now, do I support much of what Alex Jones says? Absolutely not. I agree with the characterization of him as a conspiracy nut And uh, I would also agree with anyone who cared to characterize him as a complete fucktard and a total idiot who's right about pretty much nothing. But I stand for his freedom of speech because I recognize that his freedom of speech is my freedom of speech. The last time uh, when Alex Jones was banned from YouTube, when Alex Jones was banned from Facebook, when he was banned all over the place... I came out and told people why I was against it because I think that it is, and I know that this is a logical fallacy, but it is a slippery slope. And guess what? Logical fallacy or not, I was right because it wasn't a few it wasn't it was a few days later that my Twitter account was banned. And it was only because of the support of people like Kyle Kalinsky and Glenn Greenwald that I was able to get my account back in the first place. When someone with a brain actually looked at the reason I was banned and said, hey, this is ridiculous. We can't ban people for obvious jokes, especially when the jokes are satirizing things that we allowed on this platform to begin with. So, uh, you know, I mean, there's a big to-do right now about uh, censorship of conservatives online. That's not the right framing for this issue. All these people who are trying to make it about conservatives being censored are misguided. It's not conservatives being censored. It's independent media voices that are being censored. Alex Jones is an independent media voice. So is Kyle Kalinske of Secular Talk. So is David Pakman. So are the Young Turks, even though they're kind of getting to that level where almost they're not independent anymore. Um... But there's tons of left-wing media voices out there, uh, including myself, who um, we're just as susceptible to this stuff as Alex Jones. That's why I put my foot down here. It's out of self-interest. It's out of self-interest. And you have a self-interest in this too because 
You don't want CNN and MSNBC and Fox News to be the only people who have a say in the news, who, the only people who have a say in the narrative that's crafted for our country. We need independent voices with independent thoughts, whether we agree with those thoughts or not. You can think I'm a retard. You can think that everything I say is totally insipid, but you know what? It's a good thing I'm here. I think Alex Jones is a retard. I think everything he says is completely insipid and false. And I think he's a con man and a swindler. He's a fucking glorified vitamin salesman who sells vitamins who are, that are basically worthless. But he has every right to use the Twitter platform, the YouTube platform, the Facebook platform. We've never been shown any evidence of him directly inciting anything. Now, he's said some stuff that maybe skirted on the line of incitement, but he never crossed that line as far as I've been able to tell, as far as any of you have been able to demonstrate to me. This censorship is completely unwarranted. It should not stand, but of course it will, because the only people fighting for the freedom of speech of Alex Jones right now are people who are fans of Alex Jones. And it shouldn't just be Alex Jones fans. It should be everybody. We should all see that this kind of censorship, when it goes unchallenged, comes back to bite all of us in the ass. So that's my take on the story. What do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoy this channel, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my podcast, the Deep Fat Fried Podcast. Contribute on Patreon, blah, blah, blah. This is just a real quick rushed out video. Off the cuff, off the top of my dome. That's my feelings. If you guys have a disagreement or you think there's something I'm missing, be sure to let me know. If you do agree and you just want to maybe expand on what I've said here, feel free to do that as well. Uh, I do read my YouTube comments. I'm very interested in what you guys have to say. I always have been. I'm the Amazing Atheist. Peace the fuck out.